Today we're going to make dark chocolate Nutella truffles. It's an easy rolled truffle recipe that only has four ingredients, one of which is salt, and it comes together super fast. I've coated them with hazelnuts, Dutch processed cocoa powder, and non-Dutch processed cocoa powder for a nice variety. You could also coat them in powdered sugar or some sanding sugar for a little sparkle, a little fun, a little festivities or even any jimmies or, you know, sprinkles of your choice. It's just a really easy, delicious dessert or, you know, gift, or really, I mean, you could just serve these at the end of a dinner party or give them in a little box to take home. So many possibilities, but they're super easy. All right, let's get into it. Super easy, four ingredients, one of them is salt. We've got this. We're gonna make a ganache. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're gonna take, this is heavy cream, so go ahead and get that into a pot. All right, so we're just gonna bring that to a boil. Um, really nothing super interesting about that. Um, and then I've got in my bowl here, I've got semi-sweet chocolate. Uh, it got a little hot, and that is why she looks the way she does. Then this is kosher salt. We're gonna go ahead and put it in here now. You don't have to, uh, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna let, this is the Nutella. We'll put that in at the very end. We're just waiting for our cream to boil. Now you can see it is just starting to kind of come to a boil around the edges, and we really want a nice rolling boil throughout the whole thing. It's very important that it starts to rise up. Um, you really want it to come to a full rolling boil, not just like a little bit of like boil on the sides, but like a full thing. Um, and that way you know your cream is hot enough to melt all of your chocolate because this is a 50-50 ganache. So that means that there's equal parts by weight of chocolate and heavy cream, um, which is gonna make a nice thicker ganache, which is what we want. It's, it's a decent amount of chocolate for this to melt by volume. So you wanna make sure that you give it every indication that it needs. And so it has come to a full rolling boil, which I will show you. So you can see that it is like fully rolling. And we are gonna pour this very hot cream all over the top of our chocolate. And we're just gonna, oh yeah. Isn't ganache amazing? So all I'm gonna do right now is kind of just jig a little bit. And all that does is kind of settles the chocolate. It makes a nice even layer. It means that it's all covered and that no pieces of chocolate are like sticking out and left behind because those won't melt. <laughs> um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait about two minutes and we are gonna let the heavy cream do all of the hard work for us. And this is part of how we get it to make sure it doesn't break. So we wait. All right, it's been about two minutes. Um, this is a balloon whisk, so I'm gonna be careful. Balloon whisks are more voluminous. Their whole point and purpose is to whisk air into things, um, which is what you'd wanna make whipped cream with, but not necessarily ideal for ganache. You might want a more, it's called a French whisk. It's a little straighter, but mine's dirty. So we're gonna use this with care. And I'm just gonna do a little test, right? I'm just gonna make sure that as I put my whisk in there, I feel that those the chocolate is, is melted. Okay, and then we're gonna start whisking in the center. You'll also notice that I put my bowl on a towel and that was intentional. It kind of keeps the heat, especially if you have a cold surface like marble or metal, even tile, honestly, and you're gonna whisk. And you're like, it's not gonna do anything, Lindsay. We've messed it up already. And I'm like, shh. Okay, patience. Just when you think it is not ever going to come together, you're like, oh, is that a ganache? It is, yes! And then slowly start to whisk out further. The key here, so some of the things that break ganaches are over agitation, right? So you wanna make sure that you are going in one direction. You don't wanna agitate it and go back and reverse. Then you're, you're taking all of those uh, the chocolate crystals and you're uh, just asking for them to crystallize in a terrible way. What we have here is a nice silky smooth ganache. 
We're gonna go ahead and just give it one whisk here. You don't see any sort of unmelted chocolate. And then we're gonna add our Nutella. If you wanted, you could add some amaretto at this point. That would be so delightful. Not a tablespoon will do you. So go ahead and just whisk gently, whisk your Nutella in. It's gonna start to melt in there and that's how it's gonna incorporate. We could have put that in with the chocolate um, and that would have been fine. If you do break your ganache, what you'll notice is that it's gonna look kind of like melted butter in a way where it separates um, or almost looks curdled. So that's how you know your ganache is broken. If that happens to you, take some cold, heavy cream and whisk it in a little at a time and it has to be cold and then that should help it come back together. It's never gonna be quite as perfect as it was uh, or could have been, but it will definitely get you a nice truffle. So what we have here is a silky smooth ganache situation and we're stoked. All right, so we whisked it all together and you can see that it's it's a bit, you know, it's, it's cooled considerably, right? Like it's thicker, but it's not gonna make a truffle, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and pour this into a plastic wrap lined baking dish. You could put this, um, it could be parchment, it doesn't matter. Just put it into something to kind of get it into a single layer um, to make it easier to scoop and roll. Um, and it'll also help it chill faster. And just kind of spread it out. Again, being mindful of the fact that over agitated ganache does seize. I'm gonna put another piece of plastic wrap on top and we're gonna refrigerate this. Um, I'm gonna check in like 30 minutes. I'm basically looking for it to be kind of like, you know, you could you could chill it all the way. Um, and you know, we might just do that. We'll see. All right, it's been about an hour and our ganache is chilled. You can see that it's nice and soft, um, but it is barely set, which is great. And just what we want. Um, I'm just gonna drop them on here for right now. And I'm gonna scoop them with a, a cookie scoop or a disher, but you could certainly just kind of pull them out with a spoon or whatever, um, doesn't really matter. But this is for me. You also don't have to wear gloves. I just don't feel like washing my hands. <laughs> so you can make these as big or as small as you want. Um, it's really just about the size of scoop that you use or you know, whatever size you make them is, you're not gonna, is, is the best size. Um, you're not gonna make them, you know, they don't have to bake, so you don't really have to worry about, you know, keeping them consistent unless you care. So I'm just kind of scraping out the balls. Now, this is a soft ganache, right? Remember, it's 50-50, plus we put all of that Nutella in there. And so, because it's softer, it's not gonna be as easy, per se, to work with but then the inside of your truffle, even when it's cold straight from the fridge, is gonna be soft and pliable and just like melt in your mouth. Now, you can drop these straight into whatever you're gonna roll them in, but I am going to just do them all at one time. If your scoop gets too gunked up, you can stop and wash it, but just be aware that you need to dry it completely before you keep going. All right, now, we have scooped our truffles, um, and I am going to chill these one more time while we kind of set out our coatings. I'm gonna coat them in cocoa powder. I'm gonna do Dutch processed and non-Dutch processed because they're two different colors and I want variation. And then some um, hazelnut flour. I'd love to use crushed hazelnuts, but I couldn't find hazelnuts like literally anywhere in the city. So that's what we're doing. You can also roll them in like, sanding sugar or something fun like that. Just saying. Right, back into the fridge for a brief chill. All right, so it really wasn't that much time, so uh, we might have to pop them in there before we finish. But I've got, as I said, non-Dutch processed cocoa powder, Dutch processed cocoa powder, and hazelnut flour. And so we'll just take these guys and roll them and kind of drop them in, in there. And we're gonna be super careful because we are aware <laughs> that uh, we don't actually want to be decorated with cocoa powder ourselves. Now, these are very soft. You could also, I mean, pop them in the freezer, um, but, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna roll through here, guys. We've got this, I know we do. Okay, so we're just giving them a little roll, um, and I picked, you know, whatever tray or dish or plate or whatever that you wanna put them on. That's, that's what you should use here. Um, 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and kinda get these guys coated. Keep rolling them and then give them a good little roll about, give them a toss for a coat. Um, that works nicely for the cocoa powder, but sometimes I feel like it kinda, it doesn't really work as well for the, um, the hazelnut flour. Obviously, if you care about the fact that it's coming off of your gloves, then you know you might want to do all one first and then go back and do the rest um, or the ones that are in cocoa powder, which might work well with your timing in the sense that like, you know, these guys over here, it's they're getting softer, but obviously still workable. All right. Are we feeling good about this? I think we are. Okay. So that's it. We've done it. You could 100% enrobe these in chocolate. Um, so you could temper chocolate following my video up there and then dip them or enrobe them in the tempered chocolate. I also have a video um, that shows you how to do that, um, which you can find up there or I'll drop the link below. Uh, and that way, you know, if you want this as a center, but you want that you know, just beautiful kind of candy coating shell on the outside, um, then that's the way to get that. But this is obviously a very easy rolled truffle situation. So without further ado, it's time to try. <sighs> so um, I would, of course, chill these a little bit before um, I actually served them. You want to like serve them nice and chilled. Um, that way they're firm, but we're gonna dig in because why not? Um, and we're gonna pick one that has uh, cocoa powder because I'm feeling feeling like rolling the dice today. Feeling a little, little gambly. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It just melts in your mouth. It's like, it just, it's velvety and silky smooth and just like melts in there. Do I have cocoa powder everywhere? Probably. I don't even care because it's so delicious. It's like hints of Nutella, but still has that kind of, it's not overly sweet like Nutella. It kind of is tempered with the, the semi-sweet chocolate. And then you get that nice kind of, you know, cocoa powder on the outside. As long as you don't inhale, then it's all good. 